So let's take a look at the following two examples in which we're going to deal with an intramolecular and internal deals all the reaction. So let's begin with reaction one. So in reaction one, we have this reactant rearranging itself to form this product. The question is, how exactly does this take place? What is the reaction mechanism for the formation of this product? Well, basically, if we look at the following molecule, we have this pi bond that acts as our dienophile, and this is our 1,3-diene. So basically, this bond here rotates to form a cis-1,3-diene, and then that cis-1,3-diene interacts internally with this simple alkene, this dienophile. And the following rearrangement of electrons basically takes place. So we have this pi bond that attacks this, this pi bond rearranges to form a bond here, a double bond, and this basically attacks this carbon here. So we have the formation of a three-membered ring here. We have a cyclohexene here with a pi bond here because it rearranges and appears here. And then we have this four-membered ring. So this is our product that is formed via an intramolecular deals all the reaction. Now, let's move on to reaction number two. So now we have this reactant also undergoing an intramolecular deals all the reaction to form this product here. Now, this is slightly more difficult to see as a result of the complexity of this molecule. But basically, we can see that this is our 1,3-diene and it is in the cis formation. Now basically we want to look for a pi bond between two carbons and the pi bond is found all the way here. Now because of the distance if our molecule is in this conformation it will not react. However if our bond rotates, if this bond rotates here basically this approaches this region here and when this approaches when this rotates to bring this pi bond here basically what happens is we have a reaction taking place so we can imagine that this is our dienophile and this is our 1,3-butadiene and an intramolecular internal deals all the reaction takes place so basically we have this bond here that attacks this carbon then the pi bond here attacks this carbon and this rearranges and basically forms a pi bond here and we have the formation of the following product so both of these reactions are examples of intramolecular internal deals all the reaction so 